Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high There's a lamb that I heard of for once in a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream Really do come true Someday I wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far behind me Where troubles melt like lemon drops Away above the chimney top That's where you find me And so Birds fly over the rainbow Why then, no, oh, why can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow Why, oh, why can't Jeg vil synge et Kan få være med i dag? Må jeg ikke bare være en så jeg vil? Ætler med i alvoren å spille dette spil? Fæ ég að segja allt sem ég á sagt Á meðan þú dansar úr takt Fjólu blátt ljósið skín Hér er skilabóð til þín Þú mátt 
fitter þú Ég má vera ég Og hann má vera hann Þú mátt vera þú Ég má vera ég Og hann má vera hann Þú mátt vera þú Ég má vera ég Og hann má vera hann Takk fyrir þetta Elín Ey, hún er með svo heilandi rödd, það er dásamlegt að hlusta á hann og þetta lag sem vorum að hlusta á hann á áðan var lag hinsegin daga í fyrra. Mikið rétt. Akkur með því gjalli verið í sínu flæði, segir hún, ég elska þetta tekst á brott. Þetta er mjög falleg skilabóð. Já, algjörlega. Takk fyrir að vera þetta og sko tónlistadaskrónin er ekki lokið vegna þess að Páll Óskar kemur svo hérna eftir. Það er nú ekki samtaka helgi án Páls Óskars. Já, akkur að það. Það er bara, það er ekki neitt án Páls Óskars, það er bara svoleiðis. En nú kannski sjá einhver er að við erum búin að hafa fataskipti, eins og í öllum góðum partíum þá þarf að hafa fataskipti. Og nú erum við komin og orðin svona að, að hérna, við erum við tískusýningum. Já, við erum módel. Við erum módel. Við erum sem sagt í nýjum fatnaði sem er frá samtökinu 78 sem og hérna Siggi er hérna í intersex fána peysu og ég er hérna í samtökinu 78 bol. Þetta fallega merki Þetta fallega merki hefur unnið mörg verðlaun skal ég ykkur segja og er mjög mörg verðlauna og flott merki og hérna samtökin fengur sem sagt hann einn til að hanna það upp á nýtt fyrir sér svona aðeins að aðeins að lappi upp á þetta og hérna og já og sko og ég get sagt okkur það að þessi fatnaður verður aðgengilegur inn á hinsegin kaufilaginu síðar mánuðunum, það er hægt að kaupa þetta sem sagt á heimasíðu samtækana en það er um að gera að fylgjast vel með þessu þegar þið viljið vera jafn fín og við, það er svo leiðis Algjörlega En núna næst, eitthvað sem ég er mjög spenntur fyrir Já, ég er mjög spenntur fyrir þessu, þetta er sem sagt viðburður þar sem við erum tala um hinsegin fólk sem byrjum Íslandi sem eru pólsk og þetta er sem sagt verið að fjalla hérna um hvernig er að vera hinsegin í Pólandi og hvernig er að vera hinsegin og með pólskan upprunn á Íslandi. Áhugavert, við ætlum að gefa boltan áfram yfir til þeirra. Já, Vísek tekur hérna við. Gerðu þess vel. So my name is Maciek, I came to Iceland uh, in 2016, that was five years ago, okay. and so far I'm here, uh, thinking about staying here for longer, let's okay. see how it's going, uh, yeah. All right, Maciek, thanks. Yeah. Um, my name is Jakub, and I came to Iceland almost exactly four years ago, and um, first I came here just for two months, you know, but it's four years, so I think, uh, I think I feel that here like home. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. I, I'm not planning to move out so far, so. And you're not planning to move back? No, 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 definitely not back. Maybe I'll, you know, I'm not, I don't know if I'll be living in Iceland till the end of my life, but <laughs> I'll definitely not move back to, to Poland, so. Okay. But it's always like st starting this way that you want to come just here for, you know, two or three months and then you're staying like five years. That's a common years. motive, right? They yeah. They're both saying that. They yeah. come just for a little bit and then they stay for many, many years. That's true. Right. Uh, yeah. So you say you're definitely not coming back to Poland. No, I would never go back to, to Poland. Um, I, I, when I, when I'm visiting my family in Poland, I never feel I never, I never feel good. I mean, I feel good with them, of course, but I don't feel good about how the whole political situation looks like at the moment in Poland. And honestly, I do not have any hope for, okay. for this country because... Um, so you mean you're not being very optimistic about the change? No, I'm, 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 I am very pessimistic if it comes to this. I think, I think it will be maybe even worse at some time, you know. The, the, the you know, nationalists, uh, um, you know, they're rising now, these, uh, these, so it's not, yeah. I'm not, uh, and the left parties, they don't have, you know, they can reach maybe 10% of, but, support. of support, but okay. but no more. It's like a, you know, glass so, ceiling. So, so from your standpoint, what is it like to be to be queer in Poland? So I think, uh, yeah, you. In my example, it's like I was constantly thinking that I'm gay, you know, 
or queer. I was, I, I just had this, I know, it, it was like I had a sticker on my, on my forehead and, and just, you know, I was constantly thinking if I'm walking on the street, if I'm walking in a weird way or am I wearing good clothes or maybe they're right. too, you know, extravagant or whatever. Okay. So, so you're constantly thinking and you, when you're meeting new people, you're, you need to make sure that you can actually come out uh, in front of them. Right. You need to just, you know, search, okay, are they okay? Maybe they're this or that. You know, you're all constantly thinking. So it's very of, tiring. Right. A lot of self-checking, self trying A lot of, yeah, 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 exactly. So um, it, it's, a, it's a hard job, you know, you're just constantly thinking about, and, 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 you know, you feel like insecure all the time. Mm -hmm. I think, um, what do you say? Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the problem is that you always have to watch your mind and mouth, what you're saying, what you're doing, how do you behave. You always have to, mm -hmm. like, you know, be sure that the steps you're doing are not showing that you're queer because okay. it might be leading to some kind of comments or just, you know, Danger. bad experience. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I have, like, really uh, funny story from, yeah, when I started the school, it was a new school, totally new people. It was the first day of the school, and I was just sitting at the desk. You know, you don't know anyone. And then a friend behind me, she was like, you know, tapping my shoulder. And then she was like, hey, are you gay? <laughs> and I was like, wow. I, I just felt like, no, totally. Like, I, I answered to her like, no, I'm not. Yeah. But then I was so stressed. But in the end, we turned out to be best friends. So, <laughs> but the beginning was okay. like, yeah. You always have to be very tough and um, masculine, masculine and yeah. right. you should not show emotions because it shows your weakness because you're right. a man so you know right so the situation you're talking about so when she asked you are you gay that was threatening in a way to you right sorry it was threatening it was scary right yeah for me maybe not for her not but for you her, know, right. that was for me, it was everything right. was new. It was new environment, right. new people. So, so you're saying that I was here in Iceland? No, no, no. That was that in was Poland. Back in Poland. Yeah. Okay, yes. But I was very young when I was in Poland. I was going all these uh, things. Um, so mostly, like all the problems I experienced were in the school time, you know, so mm -hmm. yeah, up to 18, true. 20, because I came here when I was 20, 21. Right. And uh, so I was also still a little bit. Um, open-minded and uh, looking for new paths in life and like, you know, uh, like a sponge. So yeah. when I came here to Iceland, there was, I was 21 and I was just looking for myself and being here, for example, and around the people and, and, and the environment, it just showed me that it actually can be a different way. Okay. And it, it wasn't like really hard to change my point of view. It was just like okay. this. And now, if I look back, mm -hmm. I don't even see uh, the, you know, what was then and what is now. I don't see the difference. For me now, it's normal. Okay. So when I go back home, I just, I'm a totally different person. Yeah. Okay. So what about this self-checking, self-controlling? Is it still on? Do you feel like you're still... No. no. It was the beginning when I was here in Iceland. I remember I also went to cut my hair and I was talking all the, with the hairdresser. And I was about to say my boyfriend, but it was like it was stuck my, in my mouth. I couldn't right. say that. And I said, okay, she's going to judge me. But then I said, like, oh, my boyfriend. And she was like, mm -hmm, okay. And this is like going on. And so, yeah. and then I realized you can actually say whatever you want and nobody right. cares. Nobody cares. Right. So it, it's really so that awesome was a huge thing. relief. Yeah. Kind then of, right. I had a lot, also a lot of other situations that were leading me to believe that it's just. Right. It's just normal everywhere except Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. but it's it's changing right now. I know it's changing, comparing to what it was ten years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. Like yeah. to the better? Yeah. In Poland, the generation, the new generation. Yeah, that's is yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the younger people are more open, but I think if it comes to you know, um, like, political debate about it's it's I think it's more you know they the politicians actually using gays to threaten people and it's like, oh, you know, if, if we allow them to be married, we are going to have something, you know. So they're just, you know, um, 
creating or they're they're, they're you know putting uh, queer people into this bad bag you know mm. with uh with, with all bad things so so you know and and very often um gay people are in this debate for for you know right people right right politicians they're saying you know that it's the same like pedophile so you know we are putting in the same right category as as uh, you know criminals mm -hmm. and, yeah, um, and and you know and of course most of the people do not believe this but you know but if you are if you can hear every day or every week or or every month you know things like this you're just getting hopeless mm -hmm. um, and you know and, and some in some way the other people can you know start you know questioning maybe it's right maybe it's not you know just right. just because they are there they can hear it every so you're saying there's this negative narrative right portraying queer community yes. as enemy right yes exactly yeah mm -hmm. so but but, but it's just it's just but the politicians uh, are using it just because to awaken uh, you, you know uh, in, like awaken this like um let's say um like phobias in people mm -hmm. so they can reach more votes you know right. because they have to create an enemy mm -hmm. in order to get votes this right. is the best the easiest and the best way to mm -hmm. gain votes if you are a politician mm -hmm. so uh that yeah that comes definitely from the politics and the church which is also of course a strong, of course uh, part in poland and ruling they are like uh, working with the government so this is what they're doing. But like people, like the younger, younger generation, I think they're more opening and just, life is much easier than it was, I remember, 2005, eight, 10. Mm -hmm. So that's, that, that change. It's changing, yeah. but we still need like. So you're saying some changes are actually negative and some are more positive, right? We're probably, we're yeah. seeing both happening. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm yeah. wondering, guys, you know, when I was looking for people who would like to come and talk about that, that was, it seemed very hard to encourage anybody to come. Do, do, do you have any ideas why this is so? Hmm. Uh, I think it comes from the mentality that we have, a Polish mentality. Some people, the queers that are here in Iceland, they are still living in, with the mentality that they got in Poland. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why is that, but um, probably it depends on the age. Maybe the younger, younger people that are coming here, mm -hmm. they are like me, like they're flexible and they can change with, with the experience okay. here. Mm -hmm. But like the older ones, you know, they've been in this system for a long time and they, when they're coming here, they don't want to show up to other people, especially other Poles. Like they don't want to stand out, you yeah. mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because maybe this is also a very small community, so we know each other, everyone knows each other, so they just don't want to, you know, still be the full of rights and, and, and like, you know, cheerful and yeah. just talking openly about themselves. Right. They right. still want to be like hidden. Right. Makes some sense. Right. Yeah, I can add up uh, to, to yeah. what, what Maciek said. Um, it's, it's a part of, I think it's a part of mentality and also the thing that, you know, your sexuality is your private thing and you shouldn't tell it out loud yeah. but I think it only refers to homosexual orientation because straight people can talk about their sexuality all the time right so it's just this uh, it's just this thing um, and yeah and and I think you know um, yeah it, it definitely comes from from this from this area that they're you know um, it's it's my private thing I don't want to you know sh show it off it works this way in Poland exactly yeah mm -hmm. you, just, you have to be you keep it in private what you do Nobody wants yeah, to I, I rem yeah. Uh, you, you you always have to pretend you're straight, right? So mm -hmm. I, it just came to my mind. My first um, in Poland, uh, it was 2012, I guess. I, it, my, it was my first time in the gay club in mm -hmm. Poland, and um, wow, it was it was just you know the only place, the first place when I. When I came in my life, where nobody really cared how you look like or how you dance or how you move, you know, mm -hmm. everybody was just dancing. And then it was the, f the first time I, I really f felt freedom, mm -hmm. you know. So, so yeah, it's just, yeah, this right. just, it was just this place when I could, you know, feel, feel this thing. Right, so that, that was very 
precious experience, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then I just kind of, yeah, it was like a mile, milestone in, mm -hmm. my, in my life, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just so, discovered places like this. Right. There is still a huge difference between the Polish mentality and the Western European or just Western world mm -hmm. uh, mentality like Iceland. And I'm very glad that I actually ended up here because it gave, gave me a lot of strength and, uh, and you know, I understood myself and accepted myself and I came out to my parents as well just okay. after being here. And it all came actually from the experience I had it here. Probably if I would be still in Poland, I would still, you know, be in the wow. closet. Wow. So, I, yeah. so being here really helped you, right? Yeah. Open up. And I don't feel it anymore that it's something bad because before I was like, no, I shouldn't. And, Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's bad, but no, no. Okay. I can just go easily home and just talk about it. And my parents are cool about it, so. Okay. It was just in my head that it might be more scary. Than it is. You're saying it was just in your head. Yeah. But you're also saying it still makes sense to control yourself in a way when you're back in Poland. So you think it's just in your head or it's a bit more than that? <laughs> well, okay, it's both. I yeah. mean, I've been <laughs> I've been a kid, you know, when yeah. I got all this experience in Poland, so mm -hmm. it, it came with 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 my age, right? And yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I'm thinking it's also we're probably not representative of the queer minority, yeah. right? Polish minority in in Iceland, there are no f no no one identifying as female with us. That's a little pity. But still, what is it like for you guys to, you know, to join the queer community in Iceland? Hmm. To join or yes. to, yeah, yeah. Do you um. feel like you're part of it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, totally. yeah, I, feel, I feel a part of it. Although, you know, last year was pretty slow for everyone. So I couldn't really, you know, meet people, go party, okay. you know, so it's a, <laughs> it's a part of this, right? Um, but yeah, I feel, you know, um, yeah, I definitely feel as, as a part of a gay community. Um, I am happy to be a member of Hinsane Coding. So it's, uh, uh, it's a great yeah, opportunity to meet new people and, 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 and to sing with them. Um, okay. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, even though... Did you sing back, back in Poland? Do you also sing? Yeah, in a church yeah. choir. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> that's a big change. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, fair enough, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so, so yeah, I definitely feel like a part of it. And, you know, I, all of the sudden, um, some people were asking me, you know, because I'm living here almost four years, so people were asking me if I can say something about being queer Polish in Iceland. So, so I, I gave like one, Mm, like internet interview and then some uh, roof uh, asked me to, to, to give some interviews. So, so you know, I was, uh, uh, yeah, out of the sudden, I, I, I kind of felt like, okay, I'm just speaking uh, for, for some people. And then, yeah, people were starting to see me as a, actually part of this community. Mm -hmm. So I feel, um, yeah, you know, Iceland is small and, and when you meet, uh, yeah, when you meet new people, you kind of, you know, you will, you either see them again, or you saw them before. <laughs> or if you're us. like, if you're like not sure if this uh, if this guy is gay, you just check Facebook, and if you have like 50 common friends, <laughs> he is gay, right? So, so, so yeah, uh, yeah. I think yeah, uh, it's great, you know, because uh, I mean, it's not like I have many like, close friends, but I definitely have many acquaintances which I can, you know for a coffee or, or a beer or something, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, so sorry. that's great, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you, uh, check. For me, uh, the first years here were quite difficult because for me it was like being thrown into ocean and now you have to like learn to swim. <laughs> but after this, these five, five years, I just, I just feel like I'm not even a part of it because it's so normal, like... Like, mm. I don't have to be very special, it's just part of my life and... So you're swimming. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm swimming, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But, so I feel very com uh, comfortable and conf uh, confident, yeah, confident. Um, and yeah, definitely I'm part of the community.
but for me it's also like very normal it's just my normal life so I yeah. feel like it's something different from what I'm doing daily okay so if like, that makes sense I'm not sure if I get it so you're saying it, maybe it's kind of less important today that you're part of the member of the queer community is it like that no it's no. just like you know, probably if I would be like comparing me in Poland yeah. and joining a part of gay community, it was it would be like real, uh, really like um, I don't know how big to call thing. it. Yeah, big thing, right? <laughs> right. But here it's so normal around like people on the street and yeah. in the daily life that right. It is it it is just I got used to it, you know. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I can I can add up right. a little bit that you know. Uh, in Poland, you you always th like you, you need to think that you're gay and you need to you know check check yourself all the time. And here, I kind of forgot about it. You know, it's just I don't I don't feel it. It's a you know subject or topic to to talk about. It's just this is how it is. And and you know we have our preferences, right? But it's just this. And you know, so um, yeah, it, it's uh, of course it's important to talk about it and to. To, to, to be visible, obviously, but um, but it, it's not it's not a thing that you know you're constantly, you know, um, thinking about and ruminating about it. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can I can say the same. It's, 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 it doesn't really matter if you party with straight or not straight. I mean, you know, it's, yeah. everybody's <laughs> you cool. Have to all, like, almost segregate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, what I what I f first it's, it's, it was my thought that you know because uh, there is one gay club, you know, but for me it was like all clubs are gay clubs, you know, yeah. in Iceland. That, that's because true. it doesn't yeah. matter, you know, you can you can be yourself in in, in any club thing. and and nobody will be you know will care. So when yeah, I that's came here, I was like, so what's the like proper gay club? And it's like <laughs> every, every, everywhere you just yeah, go everywhere, every club is, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you don't have to hide, it's not hidden, you know. I so know, and even you, you, you can see the <laughs> stickers on the door on some clubs which are not gay clubs. So, you know, it's like, okay, we're welcome, we're gay friendly, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. I understand why you're saying that, because you say back in Poland, when you, the first time when you, when you went to the yeah, yeah, gay yeah, club, yeah, that yeah, was a yeah. very yeah. unique experience, yeah, right? Yeah, this exactly. is where you felt free, right? Yes, yes, so yes, yes. yes. You were Basically, trying to look for a place look, like this, yeah. but it's it turns out yeah. most of the places like yeah. that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's mm -hmm. no 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 big difference, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, right. Yeah. That's cool. And that's cool, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Much of your thinking, I can see you. Yeah, because uh, I'm just I just wanted to say like maybe a bit in. Um, mm, about Poland, that in Pol it's not in general so bad. It depends also of, of the mm -hmm. part of the Poland where you're going, because like Western Poland is more open. You know, we're close to uh, Germany, to <laughs> Berlin, where you have a big, you know, open clubs, and also my family, and we are from the Western part. Mm -hmm. And okay. I can easily say, like, my hometown is called one of the most open towns, so I was raised there. Uh, but still, it was a struggle. Not anymore, but um, so it depends also on the environment. Probably small towns and villages are different as well. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came out to my family, like my grandparents, you know, I, I would not expect uh, expect that to hear from them, but they say like, "Hey, this is okay." Like we had them also in our time. You know, they were like it was in 1940s. Wow. We also had them, and that's you know that's normal. Just don't bother. You know, <laughs> we wow. accept that. Yeah. Right. And I was like really, you know, shocked because it might come from your parents or not, but from your gr grandparents, you know. Mm -hmm. That was like, yeah. wow. So yeah. I was, yeah, for me it was a really good experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it also depends on... Of yeah, so, so I understand what you're saying is it's important that we don't generalize, right? Yeah, yeah, that totally. There are differences within Poland and Finance, between people. Mm -hmm. People, right. yeah, society. Mm -hmm. right. So it's not like we're all drawing there, but it's not the best, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you always, you know, look for a rise of hope in the middle of, you know, shit. I can see you being more pessimistic. <laughs> I am, I am, yeah, yeah, I know. He is that way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> About Poland. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm hopeless and, and I just I, I feel good here and I'm, you know, I, 
it's also, you know, of course I have family there, although I don't know, you know, none of my close friends in Poland is LGBT plus. So, you know, um, say none. Sorry. yeah, not yeah. close, you know, okay, I know yeah, of course sorry. people, but not, not my close friends I'm are, um, yeah. So yeah, as I said, I, I, uh, and also, you know, what is important part of it, you know, because you, you can, uh, hear and see news every week or every 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 other day that you know there would be a there was a homophobic you know uh, attack on someone on the street or someone call call names or something you know it's just happening happening and politicians and and bishops are um, enhancing it mm -hmm. and you know I and, and there was a time that I just stopped watching news okay. because it was too too depressing and too too sad you overwhelming. Know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. yeah. The things that are uh, spoken in, in, in news, they're really bad, and mostly because news are owned by the government and they're just being paid to say these things. And that makes those, you know, the wave of gays are being really dangerous or, um, yeah. you know, pedophiles or, you know. Yeah. So that's a part of it, but on the other hand, we have our own community there, and everyone is, they, they don't believe in that, and mostly the society doesn't, maybe they don't believe in that, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I fans. think yeah, Jakob will not agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I, want to, I want to say something yeah. also about the church. Uh, mm -hmm. I just want to you know, compare two pictures. So, uh, you know, in, in Poland, the, the church is, of course, very against uh, all LGBT plus people. And, um, yeah, they, they are, they're calling uh, you know, names and, and they are also, um, you know, the people who are attending, who are going to church, they believe in this. And, for, for instance, one, one bishop said that um, gay people are uh, rainbow disease. Yeah, you plague. Know, plague. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I remember. So, that. so you know, it, it was just, and it, it just, this is just one example. This is like a, you know, one little thing. It's, 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 it's way more. And, um, and here, uh, when I attend my first parade, it was my first parade in my life. Was actually in Iceland, uh, in 2017, mm -hmm. and we, um, we walked down. Um, it's called. Kirkjuvegur, no, just like by Tjörnin, the street, mm -hmm. with a with a church with a green roof, yeah. So and and the, there was a, a bishop standing on the on the on the on the stairs, and you know just waving to people, having a, a rainbow uh, bar here, mm -hmm. and and it was like whoa, it was it was a shocker, you know, I, because I compare all these homophobic people, bishops in Poland and here. You know, they're all Christians, but they're, you know, it's a different part of Christianity. So, you know, it's like, okay, so they, they, they believe in one God. They, they, they pray to, to Jesus Christ and, and, and stuff. And, and they have so different, you know, points of view. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, you know, in my opinion, the, the religion in Poland, it's not about, it's not about love at all. It's, it's more about... You know, um, threat. Yeah, 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 and um, just yeah. What did yeah. you say? I said threat, uh, threatening. Okay. Like you know, they just want to keep them still in the. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain in, explain in English, but they just don't want them to. Yeah, know and the church in Poland is very close to the government, them. so so you know, so they are supporting each other. So okay. uh, it, it's not it's not separate. They're they're working together. You know, so this is very bad, and I think this is also the very important factor that in Poland, it is like it is with the, with this homophobic. You know, um, I, I wish they would be Protestant; it would be easier. I think maybe a bit also about Iceland. Um, mm -hmm. For me, it was shocking. Still, although I was here already two years, when I saw uh, gay marriages and that they actually work and. Uh, that you know so that was shocking for you yeah it was still shocking for me although mm -hmm. i felt like okay i'm in iceland everything is okay you know <laughs> like i can be who i want but it was still shocking so it's still like i took some experience from poland and and it was like hey i'm still here in back in the in the back of mm -hmm. your head mm -hmm. you know and so it was really 
good experience I had here. Um, and I realized that, you know, it can work and no, no, no one is judging and mm -hmm. it's just how it is. Also, I had uh, experience of, you know, gay community in, in Russia and there it's even worse, so. Okay. okay. So, so you both seem to be saying that becoming part of the Icelandic society means also having a lot of shocks <laughs> yeah, 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 that, yeah, exactly. yeah. The positive things are shocking at positive first. Positive shockers, Could be yeah. shocking, right? Mm. Awaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A mm. little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Yeah, and also I want to, uh, I can say that, you know, um, all the uh, parade in, in, in August, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not only about, you know, queer people. Um, it's 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 just it's it's about family, you know. I th I, this is how I read it because you can see many straight people and uh, on this parade. So uh, and there are a lot of them. There's so many many people. And I remember I um, I used to live. Yeah, it was my first parade. Yeah, I was living in Framnesvegur in uh, in uh, Vesterbyer, and then I just walked down to, to downtown to, to, to attend the parade, and I saw two straight families with kids, and they're, you know, going, attending to the parade, whereas in Poland, uh, you know, uh, kids, like, you, you cannot, you cannot, you know, the, the teacher at school cannot really be gay because it's dangerous for kids. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, you know, it, it might be, you know, uh, so, so I guess teachers in Poland are, are, need to be in the closet. So, so and here it's just like the Icelanders teaching kids like, OK, it's normal. It's OK. It's, it's just, you know, we have a rainbow flag and let's let's be let's, you know, cheer up and, and, and be happy. And, and, you know, this is also a bigger, a big, like very big difference between how 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 uh, all the nations like Polish and, and, and Icelandic approaching kids, you know, how, and what they teaching them about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like you're saying, being queer is a little more mainstream kind of. Exactly. Right? Yeah, here, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It yeah. feels this way at least. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So that was also a little bit of a shocker to you. Wasn't yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was, uh, you know, I, I couldn't see, you know, in my head living in Poland that it can like, Okay, I was, of course, I was into adoption and, and all this kind of stuff. And I was even, you know, I was thinking of, of having a kid and, and you know, th th this is fine. But for, for me, it was, a, you know, uh, that the parents are, are teaching their kids about how to be open and, sexuality, and you know, the, yeah, sexuality. Well. And, you know, that you can, you know, um, yeah, you, you can, you know, you, you can decide if you, if, if, if you feel like you're a boy or girl, you can just decide to, you know, so, so they're that. open and they're, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about it at schools. No, yeah, it's, it's a taboo it's, in, yeah. in Poland, you know, yeah. In, in some ways, you know, uh, like sexuality and, like, and, and teaching kids about this, it doesn't come together because mm -hmm. some people think that it's dangerous and... You know, but I, I, I find it more dangerous to, to, to get this knowledge from internet or from, you, you know. mean some people believe it's dangerous to talk about to it? Talk and about to talk about it. Teach. Just, yeah, yeah, so yeah. kids need to be protected yes, from, exactly. from the knowledge, Protected, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in the end, it turns, turn, turns out that it's, it's worse for people because then they're, they're in life uh, shy or like, you know, they have their problems with ac accepting each other themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I'm talking about the kids that were, right. uh, you know, raised that way and they're not feeling brave enough or just they feel just insecure. And of it course. comes all from, from from the period of time when you were being like thought, uh, sorry, you were being educated in, in, uh, in this way that you should be you should be not talking about all these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, like, avoid that yeah. and this and that. And, and the religion we had, you know, we also had uh, religion at schools, and it wasn't like a general no knowledge, but about all the religions of the world, it was just typically Catholic, a Catholic, and that you are this, and you have to, sh you should do that, mm -hmm. and you should not talk about this, and you should not do this. So it comes, I think everything comes from the education mm -hmm. of young. So you're saying there is a little bit of um, like 
taboo culture, right? Let's not talk about some things at all, right? So it That's, doesn't exist. It does. So if we don't talk about it, yeah. it almost doesn't exist, mm. right? Is this what you're trying to say? Yeah. Right. Mm. Right. So in the times when kids need support, right, they are denied knowledge and some things that are very important are not being raised and talked about. That must be yes. very devastating. And if, right? they're, if they seek help, it's just like there's no help for them. Mm -hmm. you, there's no like institutions or organizations that you can turn to if, if, you, if you're a kid and you don't know, you know mm -hmm. who you are. So, and then, like, then it comes depression and all the problems in the future because mm. the kids are just lost and yeah yeah i think it's it's uh, um, yeah you, you said before that it's a little bit better now in the society if it comes to like queer queer and i think i i, I know what you mean like mm -hmm. we're for at least we're talking about this there's a discussion about it mm -hmm. when i like uh yeah when I, when i was a teenager it was not really you know i never seen things like you know gay people in, in the TV or, 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 or you know, it was, it was complete taboo and, you know, mm -hmm. I never heard or, yeah, or seen any, you know, I, I never, yeah, experienced anything like this. I just needed to kind of, I don't know, trust myself and trust my instincts. Just yeah, like my right. parents, like, they are totally cool with me now, but I remember they're, like, sometimes they're um, saying some homophobic things. Maybe it didn't have a bigger meaning, but I still remember that. So that was like, like putting me back to tell them about it. Mm. But I also see their change since that. You know, we before we also were a very religious family. That you know, when I was a kid, and but now like my family changed and mm -hmm. they go with with what's going on. They they open their eyes. So All right. Yeah, although it takes time. It's yeah. it's like you know, it's a baby step. You just yeah, if you're educating you your parents. It's, it's a baby step, you know, first maybe it's a shock or, or, or even, you know, hatred and then you're just like learning. You need to, you, you, yeah, discussion and, and talking about it is the most important thing, I think. So, um, yeah, like even m my mom mm -hmm. turned from maybe, maybe not homophobic, she, she was never homophobic, but she was just like, maybe um, I would say, I don't know, like, you know, distant a little bit, but then she was becoming like closer, closer, and she she was very um, open to 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 learn about all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. She 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 uh, read many books, and 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 then even you know um, the last phase was um, when somebody is yeah when somebody was asking like some some of her friends or acquaintances. Oh, does uh, Jacob have a have a girlfriend? You know, and she was like, "No, he's gay." You know, yeah, well. and it was a big. It, I know that it was a big, you know, uh, step for her to just speak it out loud. You know, because uh, it, she actually made a, you know coming out for me, but it's it's also for for parents. You know, it might be mm -hmm. challenging. Right. So you you both are saying there's this long path, right? <laughs> from breaking the taboo, right, and experiencing uh, the first kind of challenges, right, mm. to maybe bigger, deeper transformation, like in your case, of, your, of, of your, your mom too, like in your family, as you're saying, right? Yeah. It took them time. Yeah, it takes time. Yeah, yeah. but then when it happened, it was like, well, you know, I just told them that I'm gay, and they were like, okay, so what now? <laughs> no, are you having someone? <laughs> So it was like easy, very easy. And my mom was really hard trying to, I didn't even feel so comfortable, but my mom was uh, trying to, to be cool. And yeah, I didn't even feel comfortable to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So she was trying to be cool for you in a way. Right. 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 Where are you talking about? There was some sign. It, it, is it, and is it cool? Is it okay for you to talk about it right now, these days? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, need, you needed to think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think so. You think so? All right. And do you guys talk about things we're talking about today with your Icelandic friends, with Icelandic community? Yeah. Yeah. I I I I I do talk uh, with them, and you know. Uh, Sometimes I'm talking about some, you know, 
things would happen in Poland, like homophobic, mm -hmm. you know, and they, 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 they seem like they, they don't get it, you know. Okay. It's like, yeah, sure, you know, but it's, it's really, it, it's, it's really, it's really happening. And, and uh, I think, I think th there's a big gap mm -hmm. between, you know, cultures, even though we are still Europeans, right? But it's a big, you know, if it, at least if it comes to um, th this kind of stuff, right? So, so what do you think is that they, they are not getting? They're not getting that. I think it's hard for them to imagine how how uh, how people can be full of you know hatred and 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 okay. yeah and, uh, and and that bishops is doing that, and politicians and everything you know okay. it's, it's just hard to get to get them. But you know I I'm, I'm good with ed educating them. So okay. you know if, if they're my <laughs> friends, they have to know you know. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Okay. So that's your mission, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you, Maciek, what do you say? Mm. Do, 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 you, do you talk about such things with your Icelandic friends? Uh, yeah, they yeah? actually show me the right way, you know, how to, what to do and okay. how to behave and, you know, they, they, they show me everything, so uh, I've, I've got lessons from them. Okay. It's my experience. Okay. But they explain me things. And, you know, like if I was hesitating, hes hesitating with many things, they said like, I mean, talking about coming out. My coming out to my parents, they said like, and what's gonna happen? You know, it's like normal everywhere. You see, we do this here. We do this here, and okay. it's, it's working. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your experience with Icelanders would be more like of of being grateful for them actually helping you. Yeah, right? totally. Uh, right, totally. Um, mm -hmm. It it changed my mind. Just not the environment, but also the society here, mm -hmm. Icelanders. Mm -hmm. So I'm very grateful for that, and thank you for for giving me the chance that I can be here and mm -hmm. be who I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm wondering, because we're talking of minorities, we're also like Polish minority. Has it ever like been um, a thing, a problem for you guys to be Polish here in Iceland? Hmm. Depends on, <laughs> it depends on yeah. you know, what kind of we're talking I, about. I don't know. I, I, I never like okay. experienced such thing, you know. I think the, the I mean, not really, I think, you know. Not it's really just, for you. Not okay. really, but I, I can just add up a little bit that, you know, it's, uh, I think it's important uh, to speak Icelandic. Then you're just like Icelander. But if you're, you know, don't speak Icelandic, you're just considered as a foreign and it doesn't matter if you're Polish or okay. American. Or, I don't know. Okay. What, what did you think? Because you said it depends. What did you mean? Uh, it depends, um, well, it depends on myself as well, if I'm open to meet the other culture and, and the, you know, Icelanders and, and talk with them. But also, that's quite important what Kuba said, that you should know the language so you can get closer to Icelanders mm -hmm. because uh, it's quite hard to get into the, you know, their, Core. Yeah, to the core of. Mm -hmm. So the language is quite important. I understand, and I'm trying. It's it's very hard, but <laughs> okay, I, I'm trying. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, but so, so are you saying that if you don't speak the language, that you feel the kind of distance? It's hard to get in, kind of. Is this what you're saying? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, from my experience, maybe it's different, but like the experience I had. It's 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 difficult um, just to know someone, you know, to get to know. Someone. Right. So right. to get um, to know somebody more, like yeah. in, more in depth. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, like, there's so many poles here that we are. It's not only the language, but we also like to so socialize around ourselves because we feel like it's part of the culture. Not everyone. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm not saying everyone. Yeah, but uh, this but it's an option you're saying, yeah. right? Yeah, that's why like there's a huge difference be between Poles and Icelanders. Like they're not mixed. It's still like they're Polish society and Icelandic society because we like to. Yeah, that's you know, true. Although I other. like in my case, I I, I I want to like I avoid it. I don't mm -hmm. because I was you know uh, I know there are many. Po this is the biggest minority, right? But uh, I was you know when I, when I moved here. I had in mind that, okay, you moved from Poland, so don't spend time with Polish people because you moved from 
you know, their mentality is just, you know, so I think I have a way more Icelandic friends than Polish friends in, in Iceland. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Was it hard to make Icelandic friends? I don't think so. It was, you, it was, you know, people sometimes uh, say that Icelandic people are close or something. I feel, I feel the opposite. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're very welcoming, of course. Yeah, yeah, and they're, yeah, they're just cool. Okay, so I'm wondering. Yeah, okay, we've got some questions. Sure. I've just been wanting to ask this question for like almost the whole time. Um, yeah, so I'm Thorbjörg, chair of the, of the organization of Something in 78. Um, and we are always, we follow, follow the situation in Poland from afar, of course, but we're always alarmed by the situation mm. and by, you know, just what's happening, and it seems to get get even worse. It gets worse with each each election and so mm. on. What can we do? What <laughs> type of help do you think mm. is appropriate? Mm -hmm. I think I think uh, f first of all, you can just show you know the Polish uh, community that you are supporting them, and I think you can also what what just came to my mind now. You, you can you can support. Uh, you know, LGBTQ plus uh, communities in, in Poland. Uh, there are a few of them. And um, yeah, and, and also I think, you know, in, informing people, informing queer people in Iceland what's going on. So, so you know, they're more aware. Um, because of, of course, it's, it's hard for, for, for queer people in Poland to react. So, you know, but for you it's, it's even harder, right? So, yeah, I think these things you could... There's, I don't think there's much to do, you know, just in <laughs> Poland, but about people and queer, a queer community, that is the Polish queer community, it's just good to educate and, you mm. know, just organize some kind of uh, events and just also opening for <laughs> us here would be really uh, nice, but... Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's that's the kind of help that might you know change the society here, of us, mm -hmm. the people that are still in in closet or just closed or. You know. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I'm also wondering. Um, I think my feeling is that for the Polish um, queer community in Poland, it's important to know that there are some other. Oh, yeah. people yeah, outside exactly. are supportive. I yeah. think that just the feeling, like, because as you were talking about these negative narratives, right, that you're kind of flooded with the, all the negative information and news all the time to actually know that there are people out there that are supportive, supportive of you and think differently and want to support you. I think on its own, it's kind of helpful for a lot of people, right, even uh, uh, like uh, emotionally and you know, mentally, it's supportive to know that. So I think the presence uh, of any kind, right, of different kind of standpoint makes sense. I don't know what you guys say. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. agree with that, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's being seen by uh, Stonewall Pol Poland. Mm -hmm. They always see any kind of help from other countries uh, regarding uh, LGBTQ mm -hmm. rights. And, uh, so this is also nice when we see that other countries are supporting us. And yes, and, and also uh, I, uh, yeah, because many news, you know, first appears in Polish, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, in, in Poland. And, um, and you know, it's, uh, and as long as they're not translated into English, it's very hard for the news to, you know, come, to, you know, like available for everyone. Mm -hmm. So, but there's, uh, it's, it's called yeah, Stonewall Poland, I think it's called on Instagram, and they're in English. So if you, you, you can always follow them and just to be, you know. See what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, If you're curious, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. OK. Did we answer enough? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. OK. So uh, I understand we're coming to an end. Right. Is there something you got, you guys feel like saying before we end? Tak <laughs> fyrir <laughs> both. Yeah, thank you guys for welcoming us and um, in the, in Iceland and here also. We we appreciate that and I was very lucky to speak in the 
in the, in the, in the name of the gay community of Poles yeah. here. So. Me too. Right. It was first time actually for me, but it's it's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you, you 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 have this you know urge to do more now. Yeah, of course. It's okay. great. Great. Okay. So thank you very much, and thank, thank you. you for all of you to be joining us. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Straukar. Very nice, very well. Nú höldum við áfram. Já, heldur betur. Við erum í þessum glæsilega klæðinaði frá Sandakunum 78 sem að er að fara á sölu á netinu, ekki alveg strax. Við fáum að vera fyrst í þessu. Já, og þið getið hins vegar forpantað inn á Sandakasjöðinu, Sandakasjöðinu 78.3 og svo mann enda líka komið inn á kaufulag, hérna, hinsegin kaufulagi, sér manninu. Og þetta hérna sem er framar á peysunni, þetta er intersexfánunni, það ekki? Já, þetta er svona útfærsla á honum. Á reyndar að vera fjólublöðin, þetta er svona flott útfærsla sem passar við peysunni. Þetta er svona ótrýslega kúl. Já. Ég myndi vilja fá svona vegfóður líka. Já, það er hugmynd, sölu hugmynd. Vegfóður og vegfóður. Ég vil fá vegfóður. Já. Þú færð prósentu þegar þetta kemur í kaufið. Já, þetta er alveg klart og þú getur bara að skrá þau inn á heimasveginni og þar bara að skrá eru þau sem regbóðin og það er nú ekki mikið innfaldra en það en eins og við kannski öll vitum þá er ekki ókeypis að reyka samtök eins og 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 öll framlegu eru mjög vel þegin. Algjörlega. Nú, sko, við erum búin að fara í gegnum fullt og það er nóg framöndan hérna hjá okkur. Við erum að ræða hér um hvað kynrætt sjálfræða eftir, þú ætlar að þú ert búin að fara brjálega að gera það þér einhvern dag þú ert búin að stýra umræðum þú ert búin að vera kynnir og svo ert að fara að taka þátt í umræðum líka Já, ég er bræðum Þú ert í pínu útundan Já, þú fær greinlega ekki að vera með hér pillu Akkurat, ég er bara að ráða hérna til þess að tala eitthvað á milli En það verður spannandi Já, það verður mjög saman og svo eftir það munum við líka heyra Ör erindi frá Veigu sem er fyrsta konan og fyrsta manneskjan til að fara hringinningringum Ísland rangsalis á kajak Já, það er mjög spennandi Bara, ég næði ekki bara höfðunum utan um þetta Nei, það var sérst Hvernig þetta er þetta í hug? Þetta var að rangsæli í sigringu landið og kajak. Bara að vakna maður bara einn morgunum með þetta. Hún er mikil, mikil hérna fyrirmynda manneska í mörgu. Þannig að það kemur ekki á orta að við hafi fundið upp þessu. En það var sérst gerð heimildamynd um hana þar sem að hún ráð hérna og talaði um bara sína reynslu sem transkona. Þannig að þetta var mjög, mjög flott. Ég heyrt hana tala og þetta var gott. Þetta var gott. Þetta var mjög flott. Og svo Palli, Páll Óskar. Ætli hann tæki ég er eins og ég er? Ætli það ekki. Já, kæmi ekki óvart, kæmi ekki óvart. Ég býst ekki þegar þeirra. Það er veisla fram undan, ekki fara langt. Nú ætlum við að gefa fólki tæki fyrir að því að fá sér kaffi. Nokko, kók, eitthvað holt, eitthvað gott. Eitthvað gott. Við innan líka á að aðalfundurinn okkar er á morgun. Þetta er það aðalfundar helgin. Þetta er aðalfundar helgin. Þetta er svona upphýtunin fyrir aðalfundur sem er náttúrulega aðalmáli. En hérna það er sem sagt mikilvægt að munum eftir því að þurfum að skrá ykkur á aðalfundin til þess að geta tekið þátt í hún. Þurfum að gera það fyrir fram. Þannig að endilega þið eru ekki búin að skrá ykkur farið þið þá núna inn á samtakasiðina og skrá ykkur og þá fáið þið slóð og kóða til þess að koma inn á fundin. Og greiða félagskjöldin. Ég gleymdi því. Þetta var þarna í ógreitur einningar. Ég fór að græja á er mjög auðvelt að fara í heimabankan. Hann er bara í svona appi. Það er 2021. Það er 2021. Það er ekkert mál að það er ekki að hringja neitt eða að fara í útibúið eða neitt, sko. Það er allt í sýmanum. Já, og þú getur verið á alfundurum heima hjá þeim, meðri síða. Það þarf ekki að mæta. Nei, einmitt. Þakk sér COVID. Þakk sér COVID. Þakk sér COVID, akkurat. En ég held að sér komið nóg að blaðir í bílið. Já, við byrjum aftur hérna klukkan fimm, þannig að þ